Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Zach Stewart, who is a 2018 graduate of Belmont High School. He's currently taking time off from UMass Amherst, and we're going to talk about his experiences today. Zach, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us about your time off from UMass Amherst and why that's happening? Thank you for having me on. Uh, I would, I'd just like to reiterate that, yeah, currently taking time off from the University of Massachusetts, uh, and it is because I was unable to uh, pay off a, a debt that was around $20,000 and change uh, due to, you know, uh, lack of financial support and just a lack of, lack of support in the sense that I wasn't, I wasn't made uh, aware of at the time when I first entered UMass that I would end up having to pay on my own. So that definitely uh, created a hole, so to speak. And uh, the institution itself, I have gone back and forth with them pretty much since I got there. And uh, even now, since I left, uh, they gave me the options of either taking out private loans or, uh, or doing, uh, or, or being put on a payment plan where it would be $900 a month. And I, I told them I couldn't, I couldn't do either of those things. And at least in terms of the payment plan option, I tried to finagle, I tried to haggle, I tried to negotiate with uh, those at financial aid in the bursar's office to see if I could go a little bit lower, say like four or 500 a month, and they would not budge. So <laughs> we've, we hear constantly, uh, we being the, the community or the, the country as a whole, you're constantly about people getting caught up in the high cost of uh, uh, higher education. And it seems like you're one of the people that's been caught up in that process. Y yes, for sure. And it's definitely uh, one of those things that, you know, even for, you know, me being in state and UMass being an in-state institution, it's not the easiest thing in the world, even though it is, say, 15 or 20,000 or how, or even up to 30,000 a semester for uh, for in-state students, that that number uh, can be daunting for those that don't come from uh, wealthy backgrounds or have the, or have the connections to, uh, to, to make that kind of headway. <laughs> now the, the community of Belmont has really stepped up uh, in your support. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I would say I um I created a GoFundMe about I want to say three weeks to a month ago, uh, and it's been it's been interesting to say the least to see interesting and inspiring to uh, see the number of people that have donated and to see uh and to see who's donated because at least uh because I'm the one that created the GoFundMe. I, I can see uh, who donated what, and I, I've seen a lot of familiar names <laughs> on that list, and it's like, oh, okay, I'll definitely have to reach out to you soon and be like, thank you, I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, and it's, you know, it, it just goes to show that uh, even though, you know, oh, even, even though there were times where I, I did feel out of place here, uh, that I, uh, that, that I did have a strong enough support system that is able to help me out in my time of need, which I'm forever, forever grateful for. <laughs> I'd like to talk for a minute about, uh, because since you have the personal experience, uh, about really what's at stake here. How, how has going to UMass Amherst uh, changed you since you've graduated from Belmont High? I would... I, w I would argue two things. I would say uh, Amherst itself kind of reminds me of like a bigger version of Belmont where it's like, and I, I know, you know, they usually say Amherst is like its own little, uh, UMass is kind of like its own little city within the town of Amherst. So there's that aspect of it as well. But I think at least in terms of like what's changed for me 
uh, definitely a bigger atmosphere, definitely uh, the ability to just branch myself out a little bit more to, be, to, uh, to get to know people beyond, you know, the small town setting and to just uh, understand different perspectives from my own and just recognize that, you know, I'm, I, I might be, you know, one small fish in the big, big pond or the big, big ocean we call life, but it's, it's those connections that I make with others that, you know, make, make life interesting. And it's been, it's definitely been, uh, been an experience and I'm, and it's one that I honestly wouldn't trade for much of anything. Can you tell us, uh, uh, on a looking forward basis, rather than looking at this seemingly huge stat, on this looking on a looking forward basis, what what are your aspirations uh, that a college degree will help you pursue? So, uh, with those two majors, African American Studies and Legal Studies, my hope is to go into either oh, and also with the psychology minor. The hope is to go into either law school or public policy work or politics or social work or something else entirely. But ideally it would be a career where I would be working directly with marginalized communities uh, and just speaking up for them, being an advocate for them and also allow, allowing them to, and helping them to speak up for themselves because you know, I, at least in the spaces that I've been in and, and, what, and from what I've heard and experienced and seen, it's that, you know, minorities, it, minorities generally don't, aren't really seen. And, you know, they have to have people speak up for them when, you know, when they aren't really given the agency to speak up for themselves. So as much as I want to help, as, as much as I want to help and, you know, speak for help and be an advocate in the sense that I'm speaking for someone, I also want to give them the agency to speak for themselves. And I think having, I mean, I think having this college degree uh, can definitely open doors for me that, you know, traditionally uh, might not, and especially considering how a lot of jobs these days in the fields that I'm looking into uh, require <laughs> I did require at least a bachelor's and then, you know, and also in a lot of cases require advanced degrees. So, you know, it's one of those things that it's like, okay, uh, I, I, I need this degree and I need it like now. <laughs> has, uh, has the experience of going through Belmont High School uh, prepared you uh, for this or are you learning on the fly here? I definitely say it's a mix of both, uh, you know, going from Belmont to Amherst and like I said earlier, Amherst reminds me of a, of a quite, quite larger version of Belmont. Uh, but also there are some other similarities in the sense that, you know, it's also predominantly white. There's also some cliques and some, you know, solid groups of people within Amherst and within UMass itself. So, you know, that everyone under, everyone understands like who's who and like what group they're part of and whatnot. And, you know, there's also that feeling of, do I actually belong here? Like, am I going to be listened to? What, what is, what does this mean for me to be here at this institution? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> and it's, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a mix of both. And as of now, we're in uh, March, so we're entering spring of uh, 2021, but you both expect and hope to be back uh, at UMass Amherst come this fall. Yes, that is, that is the hope. I am uh, in the process of using the funds from the GoFundMe to uh, work with the debt collection agency. Uh, I was assigned to, uh, to pay off this debt and the hope is uh, with the help of, of the GoFundMe, of my two jobs, and also any, any future jobs or internships or scholarships I have, I have coming my way, uh, I will be able to pay off this debt come September. Yeah. That's great. Well, thanks for joining us uh, today, Zach, to, uh, to tell your story to, to the broader community. It's a story worth telling. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. We've been speaking with Zach Stewart, who is a 2018 graduate of Belmont High School,
who is on an involuntary leave from UMass Amherst with the help of the community of Belmont. He hopes and expects to be back at UMass Amherst pursuing a degree in African American studies and legal studies in the fall of 2021. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.